As part of the responsibility of our city uh, governors to keep Chicago in safe, secure, be as prepared as we can to manage emerging situations. And through my career, the police uh, fire department is always uh, in charge of emergency situations here in the city of Chicago. The men and women that work in the fire department, uh, they're called for every type of emergency. So uh, I've always believed that they should be in charge of any emergency in the city of Chicago. And with great pride and with great distinction of all the emergencies we've had in 22 years, I've always believed the fire department are capable of handling the situations with other members uh, of government, both in the local, both in the state and federal government, and non-for-profit, and other groups that come to emergency situation. I believe the fire department should always be in charge of that. And it caused emergency preparedness. And Chicago has a great history of innovation in history of providing uh, uh, the fire and police department up-to-date facilities, equipment that make use of the most advanced technology to address emergency preparedness and security. I want to thank members of the fire department to, with it, innovation and creativity, uh, looking not only at the fire department, but any other emergency in the city of Chicago. Uh, the men and women of the fire department has come up with great innovations and a great commitment uh, to make a difference continually in, in the efforts of providing uh, good quality service. I am pleased to dedicate another modern tool. You see it here will help the fire department keep 28 miles of lakefront, our riverfront, and our harbors uh, safe, our new fire boat. This is the first boat the fire department has purchased in 60 years. I'm glad it's under my watch. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize how big this was. <laughs> It joins our old fire uh, boat, which has a lot of history there, which will be kept as a spare in a fast rescue boat that is primarily used for water rescue. This new boat will be berthed at the Chicago Marine Safety Station at the mouth of the Chicago River, where the fire department will share space with the U.S. Coast Guard, Police Department, Marine Unit, Illinois Department of Natural Resources. In addition to fighting uh, fires, the boat can also break up 12 inches of ice, so it would add to our winter capabilities. Be able to, we were able to acquire the boat with the help of $5 million uh, port security grant from the federal government, to which we added $3.5 million in local taxpayers' money. I want to thank the government for that grant. We are joined this morning by Andrew Velasquez, Regional Administrator for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. I want to thank uh, uh, Council Brian Herman of the Canadian Consulate for joining us today. The boat was manufactured in Canada. We eat Canada, and I'll think of that one. That, that is amazing. <laughs> that is working constantly and closely with the federal government and with state and regional agencies is a big part of our strategy to use state-of-the-art technology to be able to manage emergencies. Today's dedication is especially meaningful because we are naming this boat after Chicago firefighter paramedic Christopher Wheatley, who, as we all know, lost his life last year fighting the fire on the near west side. It's important that we keep alive the name and memory of Chris, Chris Wheatley and all members of the Gold Badge Society. When you think of that, all the men and women that have lost their lives. We need to remember Chris, the individual, because he was an extraordinary young man who left us much too soon. He shared this great spirit with our city, far beyond his fighting, uh, firefighting duties by working to keep our young people away from alcohol and drugs, by teaching emergency medical techniques at the University of Illinois at Chicago. We also need to remember Chris Wheatley, for, for, for we know broadly he represented all the members of the great Chicago Fire Department. I had a great uh, opportunity growing up in Bridgeport. I told that yesterday at Engine uh, 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 29. And so I grew up as a young man with firemen and policemen all my life. And, and I always remember uh, their greatness to, to all the young people of our community, uh, even continue today. The fire department has a great response uh, to all the young men and women. The young kids will look up to you, and you have to realize that. Like all first responders, he willingly put his life on the line every day to uphold the law and protect the public safety of our residents. Chicago would not function if it weren't for Chris Wheatley, and thousands like him are willing to be in dangerous jobs every day so the rest of us can live in safety. Brave men such as Corey Ankum and Edward Stringer who also gave their lives last year in the service of the people of Chicago. It has been one of the great privileges uh, of my service as mayor to be able to work closely with men and women who like Chris Wheatley and many others. 
Keeping our communities safe, our waterways safe, our securities to, uh, secure, is today is not an easy job. But through the commitment of the men and women of the fire department, who are well-trained personnel, who look at technology and creativity, and understand they need support in, car in regards to emergencies, they need direction and support in command. I congratulate uh, uh, Commissioner uh, Robert Hoff. I congratulate all the members of the fire department for I believe this is the best fire department. And not, not only now uh, being a, our global city, I don't just say America, but I say throughout the world, you are looked upon as the great innovators, use of technology in fighting emergencies here in the city of Chicago. God bless you and thank you. Thank you, Mayor Daly. Today, today is a day that Chicago Fire Department is waiting for, have been waiting for with great anticipation. The christening of our first fire boat to be delivered in Chicago since 1949. The purchase of Engine Company 2 would not have been made possible if it not had been for the grant funding from the Department of Homeland Security and the efforts of our partners at the Office of Emergency Management and Communications, Department of Fleet Management, the Department of General Services, and Hike Metal Productions of Ontario, Canada, Canada, the manufacturer of this beautiful vessel. Also, I'd like to acknowledge Assistant Deputy Fire Commissioner Michael Fox, who put a lot of time and effort into this design of this boat. Thank you all very much. It is also a day of many emotions as we come here today to dedicate Chicago Fire Department's new boat, Engine Company 2, to fallen firefighter paramedic Christopher Wheatley. The dedicating of the Chicago Fire Department apparatus is one of the highest acknowledgments the department can bestow upon an individual. So it is only fitting that we dedicate Engine Company 2 to the memory of firefighter paramedic Christopher Wheatley to always remind us of the ultimate sacrifice Christopher made in his efforts to safeguard life and property of this great city. In an age that worships professional athletes, movie stars, and the rich and famous, we need to understand the difference between being a hero and being famous. Chris Wheatley was a standout, and without a spoken word and without expectations of any reward, Chris was a hero and is a hero. The residents and visitors of this great city will see his name proudly displayed on Engine Company 2, our most unique and prized apparatus. I would like to take time to thank Mayor Daley for his steadfast commitment to keeping Chicago safe and his unyielding support of the Chicago Fire Department. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Despite the changing economical climate across the nation, Mayor Daley has kept his first responders equipped with the finest tools and best training available to pre protect the citizens and visitors of Chicago. We will all keep Chris's spirit and the significance of his sacrifice alive in our hearts. And we will strive to conduct ourselves in a manner that will forever honor the sacrifice that he and his family made to the city of Chicago and the members of the Chicago Fire Department. Chris, Chris Wheatley took his job seriously and he used it to make a difference. Thank you. <laughs> 